Hello dear students, this is Alok sir and you are on AB Sharma Study Solutions. Hope you all are fine and enjoying your days. So some basic questions here I have brought from the topic uh, principle of homogeneity that is from dimensional equation and principle of homogeneity of dimensional equation. Let us start then. The first question is that obtain an expression for the centripetal force F acting on a particle of mass M moving with velocity V in a circle of radius R. Take dimensional constant K equals to 1. Very basic question and this question is from principle of homogeneity. Let uh, F depends on mass of the particle, velocity of the particle and radius of the circular path. So it is also equals to F equals to K M V R or dimension of RHS equals to dimension of M A dimension of B B dimension of R C so this is the principle of homogeneity means dimensional of the quant dimension of the quantity in left hand side must be equal to dimension of the quantity in the right hand side so dimension of force will be M L T minus 2 and dimension of right hand side K M A L to the power dimension of B that is L T minus 1 B and dimension of R that is L to the power C or equating both sides if K equals to 1 it is given so dimension of M in left hand side is 1 and dimension of M in right hand side is A so equating the dimension equation the equating the dimension this will be A equals to 1 again dimension of L in left hand side 1 and in right hand side this is B plus C L dimension of L is B plus C or we can say that B plus C equals to 1 now dimension of T in left hand side this is minus 2 and in right hand side this is minus B minus 2 and this is uh, in right hand side this is minus B so we can say that minus B equals to minus 2 or B equals to 2 so C equals to 1 minus B or 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 means value of C equals to minus 1 all the values we have found A equals to 1 B equals to 2 and C equals to minus 1 now put the value that is F equals to K M A B B and R C and if k equals to 1 it is given in the question take k equals to 1 so f equals to m to the power 1 b, b to the power b and value of b equals to 2 and c to the power that is r to the power c minus 1 or it will be mv square by r so the formula of centripetal force uh, from dimension will be mv square mv square by r so this is how we calculated the formula of centripetal force using principle of homogeneity 
this is the application of dimensional equation now see the next question the next question is that a body of mass m moving in a circle of radius r with angular velocity omega find expression for centripetal force acting on it by the method of dimension this is a different question in which angular velocity is given so let us solve it let f depends on mass radius of the circular path and angular velocity so from the principle of homogeneity f equals to k m r omega from the principle of homogeneity we know that dimension of left hand side equals to dimension of right hand side that is m a m to the power a r to the power b and omega to the power c now dimension of left hand side that is dimension of force will be m l t minus 2 and dimension of m is m power a radius this is length power b and uh, dimension of angular velocity is t to the power minus 1 how because omega is angular velocity omega is angular velocity and angular velocity equals to angle subtended by time and angle is in dimensional quantity so this by this will be 1 by t or t to the power minus 1 this is the dimension of omega you must remember that so ml2 left hand side mlt minus 2 left hand side right hand side m a l to the power b t to the power minus 1 now equating the terms we get m left hand side power 1 and m right hand side power a so a equals to 1 l left hand side power 1 right hand side power b so b equals to 1 t left hand side minus 2 and right hand side minus c so minus 2 equals to minus c minus minus cancel out it means c equals to 2 now we have found the values of a b and c now put the values that is f equals to k m a r b omega c this will become k m m1 r1 omega 2 or f equals to k m r omega square this is the value of centripetal force of an object which is moving in the circular path having angular velocity omega this is how we find the found the relation between force and uh, found the relation of uh, centripetal force of the object moving on a circular path using principle of homogeneity now see the next question the next question is that the velocity of a freely falling body is a function of distance fallen through h acceleration due to gravity so we have to show v equals to k over root gh by the method of dimension this question is also from principle of homogeneity let us start then let b depends on h and g or b equals to k h g now using the dimension dimensional application that is using the principle of homogeneity dimension of v must be equals to dimension of h and dimension of g now v equals to lt minus 1 dimension of v equal to lt minus 1 and dimension of h h is what that is length l to the power 1 l to the power a and g is what g is gravitational acceleration that is lt minus 2 b now equating the powers left hand side l the power of l is 1 and right hand side l power a minus sorry a plus b 
so we can write a plus b equals to 1 now dimension of t dimension of t in left hand side minus 1 and in right hand side t equals to minus 2b so we can write minus 2b equals to minus 1 minus minus cancel out so b equals to 1 by 2 putting this value in in the given equation we will get a plus b equals to 1 or a equals to 1 minus b or 1 minus 1 by 2 so a equals to also 1 by 2 we have got the values of a and b now put the value of a and b that is b equals to k h a g b or b equals to k s to the power half g to the power half or b equals to k under root g h so we have proved that by principle of homogeneity means that uh, dimension of left hand side is equal to dimension of right hand side these are the very basic question you can solve it and these questions are very important for your board examination for your final examination sorry see the next question now the next question is that using the method of dimension derive an equation for the energy of a body executing SHM assuming the energy depends upon its mass frequency mass m frequency nu and amplitude of vibration r let us solve this let energy of the shm depends upon mass frequency and vibration amplitude of vibration so we can write that e equals to k m vr or dimension of E equals to MA RC from, from principle of homogeneity now write the dimension of energy dimension of energy is ML2 T minus 2 energy is equals to work done and dimension of work done is this much and this side M A B, B, and R, C. Dimension of M that is A, and this is frequency. Frequency is 1 by time period. Means this dimension of frequency will be T minus 1. This is V. And R is the length for dimension of R that is L power C. Now equating the powers M equals to in right hand side M is 1 and in left hand side m is 1 in right hand side m to the power a so we can write a equals to 1 dimension of l in left hand side 2 and dimension of l is right hand side c so we can write c equals to 2 dimension of t in left hand side minus 2 and dimension of t in right hand side minus b so we can write b equals to also 2 now we have found the values of a b and c now we will put the values on the above equation that is e equals to k m a b b r c so this become m k m to the power 1 this is new not v uh, and new to the power b means value of b is 2 and r to the power c and value of r c is 2 so r to the power 2 or we can write that e equals to k m v square r square so this is the formula of energy of a particle executing shm so this is how we solve the question using principle of homogeneity very important topic is that so you revise the questions from principle of homogeneity Stay tuned for more questions.